Here is a timeline for the age of the universe, stretching 13.75 billion years. If we use a walking scale, we can walk this distance in 2,000 metres and use the local landmarks of Huntingdale Station, Oakley Station and SHGC. Here they are on a map. So let's begin at the beginning. We won't be walking this bit. We'll be taking a ride on a massive wave of energy and matter radiating outwards from the Big Bang and journey over 9 billion years forward in time. As the debris and dust swirls and collects together, stars are born. The stars are grouped in galaxies. Around many of these stars, the remaining debris compacts to form planets. We arrived at our first stop, planet Earth, third rock from the sun, and this is where we get off. Earth has formed under a bombardment of meteors from space. The released heat melts the surface and interior of the planet. As the planet cools, a thin, rocky crust forms. Volcanic activity releases carbon dioxide, methane and other gases creating our atmosphere. There is no life. Earth has cooled and water condenses in the atmosphere. Torrential rains fall. Over several million years of continuous rain, oceans form. This water transforms the Earth. Life begins in water as microscopic organisms with simple cells evolve. Some of the oldest rocks that can still be seen are formed around now. Cyanobacteria, or blue-green algae, spread across the earth, releasing oxygen waste through photosynthesis. This proves toxic to most microbes. Iron, that is normally dissolved in seawater, reacts and oxygen levels fall at a solution. Iron, present in exposed rocks, also reacts. Rust colours the planet red. The oxygen changes the chemistry of the atmosphere as well and triggers Earth's first ice age. The planet is cloaked in ice and water exists only in slushy oceans near the equator. As Earth warms, the ice sheets retreat, revealing land and sea. Tectonic plate movement has formed a vast landmass and chains of islands. While the land is barren, the sea teems with a variety of marine animals. Soft body animals large enough to see by the naked eye evolve, but become scarce. The moon is close to Earth, creating huge tides. With the exception of bacteria, life on Earth has been restricted to the oceans, where the risk of exposure to ultraviolet radiation is greatly reduced. But now, Atmospheric oxygen levels are high enough to form a protective ozone layer over the planet. This shield is a critical factor in the emergence and survival of complex life on land. Lush forests give rise to future coal deposits. The supercontinent Pangaea forms and stretches nearly from pole to pole. Pangaea breaks into the north continent of Laurasia and the southern continent of Gondwana. Gondwana breaks into the southern continents. Ancestors of surviving animals and plants have evolved and spread throughout the oceans and across the land. Forests are widespread and, as humans appear, we complete the walking tour and arrive at the present day.